Magandang araw mga kababayan at welcome sa ating YouTube channel. Ito si Neon Mas ng United Talino Warriors. At kung bago ka sa channel na ito ay pindutin mo na ang subscribe button at bell notification button para lagi kang updated sa ating mga reviews sa iba't ibang mga kumpanya at reaction sa mga nangyayari sa ating paligid. Kumusta na kayong lahat mga kababayan? At uh, sa episode na ito ay ating ipapabatid ang isa na namang advisory nga na inilabas ng Securities and Exchange Commission. Ito ay laban sa illegal na operation ng isa na namang investment scam. So, na natin itong patagalin, ang pinag-uusapan natin ay itong uh, Algus Calp o Algus Calp Auto Trading, Algus Calp Trading uh, na investment company. At narito nga ang nilalaman ng kanilang advisory. Ito ay nagmula sa Enforcement and Investor Protection Department ng SEC. At sabi dito, based on information gathered by the Commission, the entity operating under the name Algoscalp, Algoscalp Auto Trading, Algoscalp Trading is soliciting investments in the Philippines without the necessary license and or authority from the Commission. So malinaw, nasimula pa lang ng kanilang advisory Sinasabi na nila na walang uh, sapat na authorization ang kumpanyang ito upang tumanggap at mag-solicit nga ng investment mula sa publiko. Sabi pa dito, Algus Calc uh, claims that it is a fully automated trading system that the provider will place, buy, and uh, sell orders for the investor allowing the investor to trade the financial markets without needing it to lift a finger. So again, yung mga uh, pinapangakong too good to be true na mga offers, passive income, na you can do this at the comfort of your own home, mag invest ka lang, halos wala ka nang gagawin, at kikita ka na. Further, it claims that it is a cryptocurrency of the Algorand blockchain that aims to be simultaneously scalable, secure, and decentralized. Alam natin mga kababayan na yung mga uh, kumpanya na nagtatago sa cryptocurrency, di umano sila ay hindi sakop ng uh, SEC o kahit ano pang ahensya ng gobyerno dahil decentralized. Pero lagi nating tatandaan na kapag ang isang kumpanya ay tumatanggap ng pera mula sa publiko bilang uh, investment o uh, na ang kapalit ay kita, automatic yun na dapat sila ay mag-secure ng uh, SEC registration at SEC secondary license at uh, kumuha din ng authorization at lisensya mula sa Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas. So to continue, sabi rito, Algos Calc uses scaling, a trading style that specializes in uh, profiting of, of small price changes and making fast profits from reselling. So nandiyan ipapakita natin yung iba pa nilang mga offers at yung kanilang uh, ibang ways kung paano kakikita kapag ikaw nga isasali sa kumpanyang ito. Sabi pa sa advisory, Algos Calc uh, is enticing the public to invest in the said entity with a minimum amount of 200 pesos with a promise of a 1 to 3% daily profit uh, range for 22 days. An investor can also earn through direct referral of active trade in every active trade, an investor earns a 12% commission. The claims of uh, Algus Calc uh, appears to be too good to be true with indications of a possible Ponzi scheme where returns to early investors are likely to be paid from the investments of new investors and that out of the company's profits similar to those already flagged by the commission as scams. So to continue, sabi dito, basically, Algoscalp claims that it gathers money from the public to fund its supposed project through initial coin offering on the promise of profits. Lahat ng mga nag-engage uh, uh, nag o yung nag-puput uh, up ng mga cryptocurrency ay meron ganito initial coin offering. Unfortunately, tulad ng ibang mga contents natin, tulad nitong sa Masamart, yung kanilang uh, XUM coin dito sa may Astra Zion meron silang uh, uh, pinapangakong kita 
Pero up until now, mahigit isang taon or mag isang taon na wala pa rin uh, bumabalik na kita dun sa kanila mga miyembro. So to continue, sabi dito, the SEC Advisory on Initial Coin Offerings and Virtual Currency posted uh, on January 8, 2018 provides that an ICO is the first sale and issuance of a new virtual currency to the public. Usually for the purpose of raising capital for startup companies or funding independent projects. Depending on the facts and circumstances surrounding their issuance, some of these uh, new virtual currencies follow the nature of a security as defined by Section 3.1 of the Securities Regulation Code, similar to what is being offered by Algus Cup, whereby a person invests money in a common enterprise and is led to expect profits primarily from the efforts of others. So, andun nga yung Ponzi scheme at yung pyramiding kung saan yung pera na in-invest ng mga bago, ito na yung pinag-ahati-hati anong mga datihan na, anong mga uplines. And then, sabi pa rito, since what is being offered by Algos Cult are securities, Section 8 of the SRC requires that all offers and sales of said securities must be duly registered with the Commission and that Algoscalp and or its agents must have appropriate registration and or license to offer and sell such securities to the public. So, mahalaga na naintindihan natin mga kababayan na aside from their SEC registration, dapat ang uh, Algoscalp din ay merong SEC secondary license bilang ito'y nagbibigay ng authorization sa kanila upang magsolicit nga at tumanggap ng investment lalong lalo na yung kanila mga agents, yung mga uplines, yung kanila mga brokers at any representative na nag-offer ng investment should also secure license from the Securities and Exchange Commission and then sabi rito, however, based on the records of the Commission Algus Cup uh, with the Commission or Algoscalp, Algoscalp Auto Trading, Algoscalp Trading is not registered with the Commission and is not authorized to solicit, accept, or take investments from the public nor to issue investment contracts and other forms of securities defined at, uh, under Section 3 of the SRC in the Philippines. So malinaw na ang uh, Algoscalp ay hindi registrado at wala rin silang secondary license mula sa SEC. And just to remind everyone, hindi madali mag-secure ng SEC secondary license. Maraming uh, requirements ang uh, kailangan mong isubmit bago ka makakuha nito. Kaya naman, yung mga kumpanya na for short term lang ang operation target, lalo na yung investments scam, ay hindi talaga sila magsisecure kahit kailan ng SEC secondary license. Sabi ba dito, our database also shows that Algus Scout has no brokers, account managers, agents, and or representative that have appropriate registration and or license to offer or sell such securities to the public. Ang target lang ng ganito mga investment company ay short term, ilang buwan lang ng operation hanggang sa makalap nila yung kanilang target amount at doon na nga sila tatakbo. Kaya wala talagang balak, even yung mga nangangako na mga kumpanya na sila ay magsisecure ng secondary license, sinisiguro ko sa inyo mga kababayan na sila ay walang balak na magsecure ng uh, secondary license mula sa SEC. Sabi pa dito, Algoscout is uh, neither registered as a virtual asset service provider with the Banco Central ng Pilipinas and does not have a corresponding certificate of authority as a money service business uh, MSB required under the guidelines of the virtual asset service providers BSP Circular Number 1108 Series of 2021. Kaya yung mga uh, investment companies na nag engage at nag invest nga sa cryptocurrency trading na nagsasabing decentralized ang cryptocurrency hindi po yan totoo dahil malinaw ang guidelines ng Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas na sila ay under sa jurid uh, jurisdiction ng BSP na dapat sila mag-secure ng certificate of authority para sila ay makapag-operate uh, unless 
Otherwise, wala talaga silang balak na magtagal at mag-operate na matagal kaya sinisigurado ko hindi sila magsisecure ng ganitong mga dokumento. And then, sabi pa dito, um, Likewise, its name does not appear among those listed as registered MSBs as of January 2021 with the Anti-Money Laundering Council under the Anti-Money uh, Money Laundering Act. Hence, it is... Uh, it must be emphasized that such offering and sale of securities in the form of investment contract using the Ponzi scheme is fraudulent and unsustainable and is not a registrable security. The Commission will not issue a license to sell securities to the public, to persons or entities that are engaged in this business or scheme. The public is uh, reminded that unregistered or unauthorized platforms like the algo scalp uh, are risky as well as as well and should be avoided accordingly so this applies doon sa iba pang mga investment scams na ating nagawa ng uh, contents at yung mga bago nagsusulputan so again pa lagi natin to ipinapaalala na yung presensya ng pyramiding multi-level marketing Ponzi scheme dyan sa inyong mga investment companies ay hindi po yan kinikilala bilang legit na business model na Securities and Exchange Commission. Kaya kahit nangangako yung inyong mga kumpanya na sila ay magsisecure at kukuha ng SEC Secondary License ay wala pong paraan upang sila ay maka-secure ng ganitong dokumento dahil malinaw nga sa guidelines ng SEC na hindi nila kinikilala ganitong uri ng mga business models. And then, sabi pa rito, um, Therefore, the public is, advi uh, is advised not to invest or stop investing in Algoscalp and or in any other scheme being offered by, to, uh, by it to no matter how enticing, trendy, or catchy its slogan, proposition, and or scheme is. The Commission warns all unscrupulous individuals and or entities that strict penalties are imposed for violations of the Securities Regulation Code, the Revised Corporation Code, and such other rules and regulation enforced by the SEC. Those who act as salesmen, brokers, dealers, or agents of unauthorized entities in selling or convincing people to invest in their investment scheme offered including solicitations and recruitment through the internet may likewise be criminally prosecuted and penalized with a maximum fine of 5 million pesos or a penalty of 21 years of imprisonment or both pursuant to section 28 and 73 of the SRC. Similarly, those who invite or recruit others to join or invest in such venture or offer investment contracts or securities to the public may incur criminally liability or otherwise be sanctioned or penalized accordingly as held by the Supreme Court in the case of SEC v. Odin Santos, GR No. 195542, 19 March 2014. So again, paalala po ito sa lahat ng ating mga kababayan na uh, hanggat maaari, huwag na tayo mag-engage sa ganitong uri nga ng mga investment schemes. And then, finally, sabi dito, the names of all those involved will also be reported to the Bureau of Internal Revenue so that the appropriate penalties and or taxes be assessed correspondingly. Should you have any information regarding any investment solicitation activity, by any individual or group of individuals representing Algoscalp, please send your report to the EIPD at EPD at SEC.gov.ph Ito rin yung same um, email address kung saan maaari kayong mag-verify sa Securities and Exchange Commission regarding sa legitimacy nga ng isang kumpanya na nais niyong salihan. Pero most likely kapag yan nga isang investment uh, company na bago lang at uh, may presensya ng uh, pyramiding, multi-level marketing, product movement, lalong-lalo na yung Ponzi scheme, ay, uh, I can strongly say na yan po ay isang investment scam. At hindi nga na iiba itong uh, Algus Card. So isa po itong paalala na huwag po kayo mag-invest sa kumpanyang ito 
dahil isa na po silang investment scam. Uh, kung baga nagpapahinog lang yan, naghihintay lang sila na ma-reach yung kanilang quota, yung kanilang target na amount at tatakbo na sila. May mga palatandaan na inilabas nga ang Securities and Exchange Commission. Halimbawa, uh, uh, yung mga information na lacking sila, wala silang office, uh, hindi mo kilala kung sino yung mga tao behind the company. Tapos, uh, mer- meron silang promo, ibig sabihin, they're on their way to their last push uh, para ma-reach nga nila yung kanilang threshold. So again, inuulit po natin na ang Algos Card ay isa po investment scam. Huwag po kayo mag-invest. And in the event na kayo'y nakapag-invest na, I highly suggest na magbigay po kayo ng uh, demand letter upang mas mapabilis yung inyong pag-refund o pag-pull out ng inyong investment. I understand na uh, marami sa atin ay naghahangad ng uh, extra income lalo sa hirap ng buhay ngayon. Pero mas maganda po yung kikita kayo na secured pa rin yung inyong mga uh, salapi. So, dito na po natin tatapusin ang ating maiksing video at nais ko magpasalamat sa lahat ng ating mga bagong subscribers na nakaabang sa ating mga content sa mga nagre-request ng iba't ibang mga companies. Uh, pasensya na po kung hindi natin nagagawan kaagad ng uh, uh, contents. Ganun din sa napakaraming nagsisend sa atin ng mga private messages sa ating Facebook uh, account. Maraming maraming salamat po. Gayun din sa ating mga kasama sa United Talino Warriors lalong lalo na kila Lods Shimni Anyol, kila Boss Mike kila Lods Takeru at sa iba pang mga anti-scam bloggers shout out din kay uh, Madam X maraming maraming salamat po muli ito si Neon Mask ng uh, United Talino Warriors nagpapasalamat <laughs>